guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 2 of season 2 of The Promised Neverland. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It feels like I'm been waiting two weeks for this. Oh yeah, let's do it. Yeah! Mm-mm. No, I don't think it's them. Okay. Yeah, y'all don't roll that way, basically. Mm -hmm. See, so all like vegetarians. Horse thing, okay. Oh, yeah, because what else can you do? Good. Had to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I might make pizza after this. 
Because them cashews and applesauce did not. I'm still fucking hungry. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. What? Uh, yeah, I think you guys are all on Earth. Okay. Which is the current solution now? Of course. Jesus. Why? Oh, I thought it was going to say because he tried. So then they can go and find it. You would think he would also, like, continue going on with them with this journey and such. But no, I know. He got his own things to deal with, but... Mm. Ah. 
hell is there an underground path that can take them all the way there without going out there? It, it, this is it. Stay on that ish. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then get the rest of the kids. Hmm? Yeah, you're right, but... Yeah, there's gonna be challenges. Hell, most of y'all might die. And I hate the fact that I'm thinking about that, but honestly. Oh, okay. Fuck it. I take the detour. <sighs> Thank God they're learning this. What's up? <laughs> mm hmm Hard headed too, but that's him. <laughs> no, oh, oh. Good. <laughs> really? Oh!
Or am you at home? Even though that's a home I wouldn't want to be in, shit. Come on. Exactly. Oh, this is so cute. <clears throat> Come on. But are you sure you're ready to kill another living thing? Hesitated. Yeah. You can't do that. You have to be right on it. It's killed or be killed no matter what. Oh, damn, right in the eye of socket? Shit. Damn, Emma. You have to. Mm -hmm. Bless you.
That's a different MO right there, bro. You know, honestly, I thought with her doing her first kill, especially with the game, I mean, <clears throat> because at first, I, I honestly thought she wasn't going to be ready for it. Yes, she's still a child. And a child that age shouldn't be dealing with that. But because we are in a life-death situation, she has to learn about it. They all technically need to know, especially... I don't, maybe not like the littler kids, so Emma, Ray, Gilda, what's-his-face, and then maybe a couple of others, I believe. But I was assuming that, you know, after she made that kill, and maybe it, it might happen later on if she has to make a kill of a demon or another human, who knows. But I think it's really, especially when she makes that first kill for a human or a demon, that might honestly really, you know have her to be traumatic or traumatized from it. I'm not 100% sure. It's just a guzz. But I feel for her. I can't imagine killing something like that. But in a world, yeah. I mean, I'm sad that she hesitated, but in this world, you can't. It's a killed or be killed. It's a doggy dog world. And I hate the fact that, you know, she's in this, but like, mm. Let's just, I'm still praying that they just find what's his face and are able to, you know, get Phil and everyone else, but who knows what the hell is going to happen. I still miss Norman, like, oh my god, rest in peace, baby boy, I miss him so damn much, but the fact that, you know, he said that none of her siblings, you know, when they died, they all felt peaceful, and they didn't probably feel, you know, feel the, um, I'm about to say the Vilda, Vilda, wrong, uh, right? <laughs> I didn't even know what I'm saying right now. Um, stabbed through them and such. So they probably felt no pain or anything. They were probably at peace at that time. But still, I mean, the dangers that they're possibly going to face in these next few episodes. I, I'm, am I a little afraid for them? Yes, because I mean, I love these kids so damn much, and I don't want any of them to die. Even though ninety nine point nine nine percent of me really honestly truly thinks that yes um most of them are going to die that by the time they go back and get phil from gilda house or any of the other houses where the rest of these kids are scattered around this world most of them are probably not going to come back alive and it kills me it eats me it eats away at me knowing that it, it could possibly happen it could be one of many different situations that could happen with this series but Something just tells me the deeper that we go into it with this group of, I'm going to say 30, 20 less kids maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I, I feel like by the time they go back to Phil, we'll have like either less than 15 or less than 10. And that really fucking hurts to say that because I don't want them to die. I love these kids. They're so fucking precious. I don't want anything bad to happen to any of them. I don't think Emma would die. Same thing with Ray. I mean, because they're, they're too important. Hell, I said that ish about Norman in season one. I was like, yeah, like, they're not going to kill off Norman. And then boom and such. So I don't know. I mean, but like, in my opinion, yes, Emma is one of those characters but I, I've seen this in the past with some of the chapter books that I've read, especially like Die Freaking Virgent. Um, that yes, you can still kill your main character even if you really truly want to. But I think with Emma, she has that, you know, um, that shield around her where she's like, oh, hey, this is the main character. She or he, whoever, is nigh unkillable. So you can't kill this main character. But 
anyone else who she is interacting with, which could be Ray, Gilda, any of the rest of these kids. Yes, they can be killable, but I, I don't know. I can't imagine them killing Emma off and be like, let's continue the show. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows, honestly, what the hell is going to happen next. Hopefully this detour is going to be okay, that these demons don't find them, praying to God. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode two of season two of The Promised Neverland. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys. Honestly, I don't know, because originally I thought this was supposed to come out on Wednesdays, but... It's on Thursday, so either I will see you on Wednesday, Thursday, or if it comes, like, out Thursday night, then I'll see you guys probably Friday morning for the next episode. But honestly, I don't know. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.